This is the solution to written homework 64. So, let's consider uh, the related function uh, h of x is just one third to x. Okay, so this function, if you consider it, looks like the following. So it goes to the point 0, 1, and because the base is a third, this base is between 0 and 1. That means that this exponential, this one, h, will need to decay to the right and increase to the left. Okay. So this particular function, its domain, its domain is any x at all, so you can plug in any x, and <clears throat> that doesn't change here. So the domain of, of f is still all x negative infinity to infinity because the only effect that the plus 5 has is it shifts it shifts it up the plot up and the plus and the multiply by 2 makes it uh, a little taller so <coughs> f plotting it it'll be quite similar to oops, it'll be quite similar to the plot of h Except now, it'll be moved up 5. So if this is 5, I'll go through that point there, <coughs> and then decay to the right. So that means that the range, which is to say the set of all possible y values, is 5 to infinity. Not including 5. That <coughs> is a horizontal asymptote. So there's a horizontal asymptote of y is 5. There are no vertical asymptotes. f evaluated at 4 <coughs> that will be uh, 2 multiplied by 1 third to 4 plus 5. So simplifying that a little bit uh, that would be 2 and then multiplied by 1 over 3 to 4 plus 5. Well, 3 to 4 is 81, so that's 2 over 81. Plus 5. And so that would be uh, 8 times 5 is 40, 400, and uh, 5. So that'd be. Uh, 2 plus 400, 5 over 81. So f of 4 is 407 over 81. Okay, so now we want to solve this. So f of c, so that'd be 2 to one-third, and then with exponent c, plus 5 is equal to 11. We want to solve this equation. So we'll subtract 5, and 2, one-third to c, 
is equal to 6. <coughs> so 1 third to C is equal to 3. <coughs> So, uh, this one third could be written as 3 to negative 1, so 3 to negative 1 to C is 3. And then now these exponents are iterated, so that'd be 3 to negative C is 3. <coughs> and so that's saying that 3 to negative c is 3 to 1, and therefore negative c is 1, so c is negative 1. Okay, let g obtain be the function obtained by reflecting f about the y-axis. So reflection about the y-axis That is the transformation x transforms to negative x. <coughs> so that means that g of x is equal to uh, 2 times 1 third to negative x uh, plus 5. And just like uh, just like negating the exponent here ended up uh, making a reciprocal, we can we can factor this negative in, and we can obtain the formula two two uh, times three to x plus five. And that's the answer. I have to be clear in my drawing. That one is H and that one is F.